Jamikibu, our education reporter. Thank you, Jamikibu, for that detailed report. And now, moving on to Kiambu County, Tika traders have raised concern over proliferation of sex workers within the town. The concerned young entrepreneurs, some of who are startups, decried that high numbers of sex workers have not only become notorious in the busy town, but have also been affected by the businesses negatively. Now, the Twilight Girls are reported to be hawking sex for as little as 50 shillings following the increase which has resulted to a stiff competition. Lack of employment, harsh economic times in the country, and lost moral focus have been blamed for the upsurge of device. Addressing press, Thika Deputy Police Commander Bernard Ayo said that police are tied by law. Ayo lamented that lack of a clear act in the constitution that prohibits prostitution has been detrimental in their efforts to bring sanity in the busy town. He called on Kiambu County government to come up with a bylaw which could help police in arresting and prosecuting the adamant sex workers. Customer akikuja kama anatoka ngaboide gine ya barabara. Akivuka, wanaenda wanamusika, mkono. Wana mbebeleza kama atakubali, waende wa kafanya hizo biyasara zao. Akikata, wanamutukana. Meaning huyo customer siku ingine, hata rudi kwa duka yangu. Hata hiyo saa yenyewe kama alikuwa nakuja kwa ugo hezi kunja. Wanasimama mbele ya nduka, wanafanyia kazi zao mbele ya maduka, bila haya. Na tunasema kitu moja. Hatuwezi kubali biashara ambaye ni haramu. Iharibia wanabiashara, wala wanauza maduka, wanalipa rent, wanalipa licenses, kwa sababu ya watu ambaye hawana nidhamu. But tunajaribu kama leo tulikuwa na red mchana, na tumeweza kushika wa sita wako ndani na watapeleka kotini kesho na tutaendelea na hiyo red kama hiyo kila siku paka tuone adizo pungufu yao street girls kwa 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 street zetu